My grandfather's life story all started in Berdichev, Ukraine. His mother helped a local tailor at a young age and ended up marrying him. In 1906 and 1908, she had two girls before having my grandfather, Lou. After Lou was born, most of the family decided to leave to Canada for a better life away from the pogroms. A pogrom is a violent mob attack against Jews, and are often controlled by the forces of law. These mobs often were enforced to destroy Jewish homes, workplaces, and synagogues. They decided they would immigrate to England to get to England in April 1912 on the Titanic. There's one problem. Lou's sister had an eye disease and it flared up so they were refused boarding. On April 15, 1912, the ship collided with an iceberg and later sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on its way to New York. After they heard the news of the Titanic sinking, they were relieved and thought how close they were from being on the ship. They later traveled on a different ship. Their journey ended in Toronto, Canada after passing the Atlantic Ocean to Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Lou's mother set up a dressmaking shop in Toronto with the whole family living upstairs. When World War I started in 1911, his mother got a government contract to make uniforms. Lou went to, from elementary to university school all in the same neighborhood that his mother lived in. His mom now realized moving from Ukraine allowed Lou and his sisters to have better lives. Lou married a friend named Fredai Dambrot and opened a drugstore drug with his brother-in-law. Lou and Fredai had two girls, Beverly in 1942 and Linda in 1945. In 1950, they moved to the small city of St. Catharines near Niagara Falls, where he opened yet another drugstore. He was a very successful pharmacist and businessman in St. Catharines and a member of a very small Jewish community. In 1962, the family, Lou, his wife, Frede, and their daughters, Beverly and Linda, moved back to Toronto because Lou was offered a management job in the Toronto Pearsons Airport. Lou got promotion after promotion until retiring at the age of 68 and decided to do something that he always wanted to do, paint. Lou lived a long, successful life, starting out struggling in a hard city in Ukraine to being a head office worker at the Toronto Pearsons Airport, while also spending much of his time with his wife and two daughters. Unfortunately, Lou passed away in 1996, just two months after Lou's wife died. My great-grandparents grew up in much more difficult circumstances than I did. They had to move to the other side of the world with little money or resources. They had to start a new life so that their children could prosper.